Welcome to part 4 of the modular environment design in Blender for Game Engine. This course is easy to follow and even though I'm using hard ops and box cutter you should be fine in vanilla Blender if you know the basic tools. Now if you don't know the basic tools I would highly recommend our free course for beginners called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will get you up to speed in a matter of days saving you a lot of time and frustration. The link is in the description like I said the course is free. Now if you get stuck during any of these courses feel free to join our discord channel with almost 4,000 people over there and a help section so you should never get stuck again link is down below enjoy welcome back and in this part we're gonna be fixing all the elements making sure they look good so we're gonna grab the you know window first and shift G immediate intermediate children or immediate children whatever and let's grab this one and we're going to apply everything okay so we're going to apply the cutter here so smart apply that's all that i wanted to do uh, smart apply there you go and smart apply here select the mon shift s and you know uh, accept this one though so Control i shift s and two geometry so and the um you know the origin points are redistributed okay now uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this window is not as thick so we're gonna se separate this window go to edge mode and drop a loop and control b and you know uh, you see that control b and uh, control b doesn't work with with the snapping so it can be more or less accurate, you know, more or less. Uh, let's create this kind of a thickness. And here what we're going to do is we're going to selection. So P and selection. And we can remove these two, right? Then we're going to grab that and we're going to... Let's go to edge mode, select the edge, F and select the edge without here f brilliant then shift control click on sharpen to remove the sharp i just and move them on the side here all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to select these two uh two faces so select this face and this face and we're going to insert insert them so i to insert and insert them a little bit okay and then control i and again p and selection i grab the one in the middle and go to local view and let's just close this one okay so press f here and then hold f and close it to be able to hold f when you're closing it you need to have this f2 add-on enabled now select the outer bit which is this right and do the same thing so select this four and f and then simply you know hold f and close it boom and this one's gonna be a different color so alt m and add blank mud so now you're gonna have this kind of a framing around the window you see framing on the window. you can make it a little bit wider if you want to so sx and so sy and you can scale it on the y-axis a little bit so it's gonna be kind of like a you know um sort of a seal around it yeah so now we could do is select this edge here on the interior, right? So you need to select all these elements, okay, all, of, all the three. Uh, let's just, uh, you know, kind of chamfer it a little bit, okay? Like that. And then we're going to apply bevel here. So bevel and one segment. So scroll down to one segment and make sure it's not too crazy, okay? And then operations and alt click on sharpen to apply smart apply. Select everything and remove sharpens. So, you know, mark. Boom. Okay, you, you don't need sharps on the beveled pieces because but it's a mid poly beveling basically. This bevel could be a little bit bigger. So, we could see maybe that's actually too big. Uh, maybe something like 0 0.6. Let me see that. Yeah, this will do. So. Make sure the bevel is uniform across all the all the pieces and that's our wall basically with window okay this is you know this looks really cool there's double ceiling you can see the depth of it you know so that that's really good right 
So what we can do is we can replace all the other windows now with it. This one I'm going to be doing later because it's going to be a bit more work involved here. Uh, this bit, we don't need it. Uh, we're not going to be using that. Uh, and now we need to do these windows as well. Okay, so same same story. So I'll click on sharpen to add weighted normals because we don't have them. And then select this window and we need to apply the uh, smart apply. Go to local view and select this and select this and you know insert it, same drill and control I to in invert it and P then grab this one and alt M and we could actually grab the same mat or just you know different mat doesn't matter. We got some interesting cross between bevels here going on which I haven't noticed and I think we need to fix this guys because that is bad. Let me go back here let's remove this for a second both of them. Let's see here this is still a live bullion right okay let's recall this cutter here yeah that's the problem um so how do we how do we fix this we grab this we grab this bit here and we move it outside just like here so instead of this being beveled we only bevel this okay so the way to move this origin point to the middle we can select this bit shift s to edge which will move origin point to edge and then we're going to mirror this to the other side boom and problem solved and now we're gonna grab this and we're going to go to ever scroll and shift bull and select this one shift select this one and copy mat and now it should be fine so let's grab that and let's apply this so operation smart apply yeah now it's correct you see that was messed up so it's a good thing i caught that so let's clean the mesh so clean mesh to remove all the junk perfect let's make this glass a bit narrower that's the first thing we need to do and uh, we have some end guns here so we need to get rid of them so there's three to clean and guns are here okay so let's remove this one okay faces let's select these two and run f okay and then simply um, so shift s and origin to geometry and is it in the middle i think it is and simply alt x with mesh machine to copy to the other side if you don't have mesh machine you can use hard ops uh, you simply go um, alt x and you change the uh, for some reason i can't click that i need to reinstall my uh, box card but there is a menu that allows you to switch here to uh, from modifier to um to symmetry and here is fine right so can i run a loop now i can so Control b to split it like this and what we can do is you know Control i to invert it and remove uh remove verts and then we can combine this so here is going to be one face and then select these and run around to the to this spot and then select these and these and f brilliant and then select these down to here and F and then you know go down and select all these on the bottom and F right peachy peachy okay we need to create a frame so one more time select these faces and these faces insert them okay and then control i p and selection then grab this selection and alt m and you know add blank mat now let's just grab this and uh we need to combine this so combine this to f and just let's run it around okay so that's our seal and then we need to do the same in the window so combine these two i mean 
these four and then just run around and we probably don't need a oh actually we could use a bevel here too so one segment and you know just a little bit of a bevel that's cool here too a bit of a bevel one segment and here too a bit of a bevel right one segment and you don't want to okay you don't want to have any sharp edges on it okay because it will not work very well right you see it's nice and supple and looks really cool there's a ceiling going around the window which just kind of makes it really awesome kind of stands out really cool all right so this part is done uh, we need to put a modifier here so bevel one segment and let's uh, go with you know let's not go crazy yet um maybe something like um 0.15 there you go you know that will do this one let's apply the solidification here and Control c copy modifiers now this one remember we had a problem with the uh with the boolean right so we need to um ever scroll it and remove this boolean delete it so now all we need to do is we need to cut this piece okay so let's remove this uh boolean because it's a different one shift d y and move it in here and difference and boom and then all we need to do is move the window so let's apply this one so uh, operations multiply shift three and grab this one and the seal okay and you know shift d y and just simply snap it in here see when it's modular it's so easy to move things about right select this one um let's apply this boolean shift select this one Control c copy modifier so now we get bevel of the same size on every single part here um so it looks really cool and you know everything is great awesome so now these are individual pieces i'm gonna leave them in here uh, we could parent them as well okay so we got a window fixed and uh, this one right this window we got it fixed there you go windows are fixed and now we're gonna be in next part gonna be doing the, the doors because we need to fix the doors right you could still for example put some kind of a seal around the window uh, i might do it later i'll think about it we could do this offset tool uh, which is pretty cool uh, but so far so good we need also some kind of a, like a elevation here so there's still a lot of modeling to be done and uh, we also need uh, elements on top of the walls uh, which is gonna be easy to create because we can create them out of um out of these pieces that we have here uh, so this is not a big deal okay cool so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one